You've seen the headlines, GOP ones will cause blindness, Ozempic ruined my vision, and your eyeballs will fall out if you take Wagovi. All right, I kind of made that last one up, but the internet does love a good panic attack. And as of late, there's been a lot of discussion around vision changes and vision issues with the GLP-1 medications. We've already talked about some of the blurriness and that sort of thing that can come out, but I wanted to specifically address a condition called diabetic retinopathy. What it is, why it happens, and whether you should actually be worried about it if you're taking a GLP-1 medication. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's clear the fog around all this eye drama. First and foremost, let's go back to the science class and talk about what is diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is a case of your eyeballs getting caught in the crossfire of high blood sugar. You see, your retina is lined with a bunch of tiny little blood vessels, and over time, high blood sugars can weaken and break down those blood vessels, making them a little bit less effective at their job. Imagine a garden hose that has too much pressure flowing through it. Eventually, it's gonna start cracking and breaking down, and there's gonna be water everywhere. And that's what can kinda happen inside of your eyes if you have diabetic retinopathy. And if it's left untreated, what can happen is blurry vision, dark spots in your vision, as well, in worst case scenarios, blindness. Now, if you're thinking, great, now I'm stressed out and my blood sugar is starting to rise just because of this video, I want you to relax, take a couple of big deep breaths and just chill out because we're gonna get into the science some more. Now, for my Canadian viewers, if you happen to be living with obesity or overweight and you're currently taking a medication like Wagovi, Zepbound, Ozempic, or what have you, you can check out the app called Blue Charm. Blue Charm is rewarding Canadians on anti-obesity medications for sharing their story. Just download the app, complete a quick survey, and you're going to get $50 e-transfer to you as a thank you. And if you use my code LYG4G8, you're going to get an additional $5. That's about $55 for approximately 30 minutes of your time. So not only are you getting paid, but sharing your story helps to drive important research in obesity care. If you're Canadian and over the age of 18 years old, check out Blue Charm today and start filling out their surveys so that you can get rewarded and keep driving meaningful research. Now, diabetic retinopathy isn't something that just spontaneously happens out of nowhere. It takes time to develop. First, we get mild, non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Basically, we're starting to get tiny leaks in the vessels, but there's no symptoms at present. Then, this can get to a moderate level where we're getting more leaks, blood flow is getting a little messy. Then, it can progress further to severe cases where the eyes start freaking out, they start growing extra blood vessels, but they're weak and fragile. And then finally, the worst case is getting proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This is where we get bad new blood vessels forming, everything's not going well, it's kind of like a toddler with a marker, it's unpredictable and messy. And it's at this stage where we can start to get vision loss. Now, let's get to the juicy part. Can the GLP-1 medications cause diabetic retinopathy? The short answer is no. The longer answer though, if you currently have pre-existing diabetic retinopathy and you have elevated blood sugars that when you start taking a GLP-1 medication and your blood sugars start dropping very rapidly, that can worsen pre-existing diabetic retinopathy. If you've had high blood sugar for years and years and years, then we suddenly take either a GLP-1 medication or we take insulin or you go on a crash diet of some kind and your blood sugar starts to drop very, very rapidly, basically your eyes kind of freeze freak out because they don't have time to adapt to this new lower level of blood sugar. And this rapid shift in blood sugar levels can worsen diabetic retinopathy. Think of it kind of like your grandmother's old recliner. All that's being held together by is good vibes and duct tape, but if you were to suddenly jump on it, it's just going to collapse. The blood vessels around your retina kind of undergo the same deal. So do you need to actually worry? If you don't currently have diabetic retinopathy, you're good to go. You don't need to stress out. If you already have retinopathy, then you need to be talking to your doctor before making any big shifts in your blood sugar management. Again, it's not the GLP-1 medications that are causing the issue and worsening it, it's the rapid decrease in blood sugar levels that causes the problem. And so it's going to be with any other medications that can lower your blood sugars, or if you suddenly decide to start eating cauliflower pizza crust. So, as always, people really need to stop throwing the GLP-1 medications under the bus and start thinking more in the sense of what can we do to slowly reduce blood sugar levels over time, because if we do it that way and we take our time with it, we don't get those same worsening of the retinopathy symptoms. 
Now, are you tired of the confusion and frustration around weight loss? And do you want real science-backed strategies that actually work? Well, then you should check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to resource for expert insights, live check-ins, as well as the latest and greatest on all the GLP-1 medications. You can stay ahead of the science and get exclusive updates on the latest and greatest science out there. And best of all, you're also going to be joining a supportive community where we have no judgment, just real talk with expert guidance. So if you want to transform your health and start making real changes starting today, then check out all the links down below, check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub, and sign up. Your first seven days are completely risk-free. I know you're ready, and I can't wait to see you there. Now, if you're not even sure to begin with whether you have retinopathy, high blood sugar, or if you're at risk for any of these things, well, the first thing you need to do is start talking to your healthcare providers. That's going to include talking to your family physician and going to your optometrist and getting your yearly eye exam even if you think your vision is currently fine. And if you have elevated blood sugars at present, what we wanna do is be taking our time to bring those blood sugar levels down, make sure it's nice, controlled, and well supervised to make sure there's no rapid shifts in blood sugar levels. And of course, if you have any other comorbid conditions such as high cholesterol or high blood pressure, we need to be taking care of those too because they are just as important for overall eye health and your health in general. Now, to bring this one into land, diabetic retinopathy is not caused by by the GLP-1 medications like Wagovi and Zepbound. It is caused by years of high and elevated blood sugar levels damaging the tiny little vessels around your retina. And it's going to be the rapid drops in blood sugar, whether it's from a GLP-1 medication, insulin, or some other method that you're using that is going to possibly worsen current retinopathy. So does this mean you should freak out and stop taking your medication? Absolutely not. It just means you need to be following up with your care providers and start managing your blood sugar in a more reasonable fashion. So let's not panic, let's be reasonable, and don't forget to book that eye exam. All right, now it's your turn. I wanna hear from you. Have you gone for your yearly eye exam yet this year? Yes or no, there's no judgment, just accountability. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep getting no BS science-backed content. And check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan. As well, if you want more support on your health journey, then you definitely need to check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. And as I always like to sign off, please remember it is the small tweaks that lead to the massive peaks.